Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joshua Campbell Torrance. I'm the executive director here at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum. And welcome to today's History at Three. Today, we're in the Silas Dean House. And we're going to learn about a very interesting portrait. Hi, I'm Rich Malley. I'm the curator here at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum. And we're here to talk about a portrait in the collection. You know, today we're so used to having being able to take photos of, you know, ourselves, uh, family members, loved ones, friends, that we, we, we forget that in the 18th century, that technology wasn't available. So one of the few ways, actually, to capture the likeness of, let's say, a family member is to have a portrait painted. Many of these were oil-on-canvas portraits, like this one of Silas Dean. Dean's portrait was painted, we believe, by a man named William Johnston, and he was an itinerant painter. That is, he moved from place to place, kind of following the business. And he worked in the middle of the 18th century from, oh, the Boston area where he grew up, as far south as Charleston, South Carolina. He came to Weathersfield sometime in the mid-1760s advertised that he was available for painting portraits, and a number of local residents took him up on the offer. Among them, Silas Dean. Dean, of course, at that time, um, was a, um, a fairly successful West Indies merchant. He was also an attorney. And he would later go on to become a member of the First Continental Congress, and then he would find himself, after the outbreak of the war, being sent to France as America's really first foreign diplomat. Now, people who look at portraits from this period, oftentimes they see what looks like a window or a door. And in fact, here's a good example in Dean's portrait. And this was an artistic convention that was used to suggest either the line of business in which the sitter was involved or the source of their wealth or, or um, you know, something similar. Um, here we see out the window, if you will, a small sailing vessel. And this is a sloop um, to um, symbolize the vessels involved in the West Indies trade. Dean himself was part owner of any number of trading vessels um, that would sail from New England, including from here in Wethersfield, to different islands in the West Indies, bringing, oh, agricultural products, wood products, small manufacturers down to the islands, returning with, as I like to call it, sugar in its many forms, um, white sugar, refined sugar, brown sugar, molasses, and even rum. So portraits can tell us stories that, at first glance, um, you know, aren't quite as uh, obvious to the eye. Well, thank you so much, uh, Rich, for talking to us about Silas Dean and his portrait. We uh, look forward, of course, to having you back here at the museum in person when you can look at these wonderful collections uh, on your own. In the meantime, uh, we encourage you to enjoy these uh, histories at three. Uh, they will also be not only on Facebook, but on our YouTube page. So please go back and, and enjoy all of them. And until we see you next time uh, here at History at Three, please stay safe and stay well.